Welcome to the channel PK2023. Hope everyone has a good time watching our videos. Welcome to the channel PK2023. Hope everyone has a good time watching our videos. Man UTD collapse with Maguire and AG culpable in Grim Europa League exit. Eric Ten Hag may have thought the season could not have sunk lower than getting thrashed by Brentford or shipping seven goals to Liverpool, but the calamity at Ramon Sanchez Pizja and Stadium could be ranked up there with the worst days under the Dutchman. The ghastly errors by David Deji and Harry Maguire will be on the highlights reel but they tell only part of the story of this surrender. Others were culpable on a worrying evening for Manchester United, with Ten Hag pointing to a lack of character among his team. Rattled by the hostility within this famous old stadium, they froze. The tie they lost control of in the last minutes of the first leg was taken away from them in a blur of white. It was Europa League men against boys for the entire second leg of this quarter-final. The chastening defeat is made even worse by how far United have come under Ten Hag since the start of the season. He had revived in Sevilla are a team they are now expected to defeat, given some of the victories they have produced who have some talking about them as outside title contenders. But these United players have a knack of putting in a disastrous performance just when it looks like they turned a corner. After recovering from the Brentford debacle they conceded six goals to Manchester City. After climbing the table into the Champions League places, they lose 7-0 to Liverpool. This Sevilla defeat was as bad as anything United have served up, against a team who are not safe from La Liga relegation, albeit experts in the record six-time winners of the competition. We lost the battles, they had more passion, more desire, more willingness, that's difficult to win games, was Ten Hag's damning assessment. It is not about playing skills, it is about character, be composed, desire and passion. They had more desire to win. It is unacceptable. After City, after Liverpool, after Brentford and every time we bounce back and in that perspective we have very strong mental skills and in some occasions we are there and that is what we have to accept now but it is unacceptable because everyone can see the demands and standards have to be higher. That's the demand. We have to do better. We didn't beat the press. When you do there are so many spaces behind and it was obvious at the start how to do it. Ten Hag spoke before the match about Deji being a complete goalkeeper but his faults were clear for all to see here. He played Maguire into trouble for Yusef on Nasiri's opening goal, then could have done better when La Akbade attempted header hit the Sevilla center back shoulder and looped in. On Nasiri was gifted a third when Deji could not control a simple punt forward. He is the one with the most clean sheets in the Premier League and it shows he is a very capable goalkeeper, said Ten Hag. With the Spaniards' contract, worth more than £350,000 a week when United are in the Champions League, expires in the summer and there must be questions over his future at the club. Injuries and suspensions have also exposed how important Ten Hag's key players are. Marcus Rashford came on at halftime but United are too reliant on their top scorer for firepower. And they certainly cannot afford him breaking down by rushing back. Bruno Fernandes was suspended and it showed how important he is linking the midfield to the forwards with his clever passing and runs. Lissandro Martinez and Rafael Varane, injured in the first leg, were sorely missed. Maguire and Victor Lindelof showed why the first choice pairing are so vital. It's not about them, the players they were missing, it's about the players on the pitch, said Ten Hag. They have to perform. I believe in them and trust them but they have to show it and they were not good enough. We have shown on so many occasions good things but tonight we weren't ready for the game. At this level, playing for Manchester United, you have to be ready for every game. United's campaign is in danger of falling flat in the final six weeks. They will surely limp back into the top four but how they would have loved another memorable triumph to go with the Carabao Cup. There needs to be a marked improvement at Wembley this weekend to defeat a confident Brighton team in the FA Cup semi-final. Of course, I have already started, we lift them and we have to pick them up but we have to face that we let ourselves down and the fans down, said Ten Hag. If you want to win trophies you need a lot of character. We can't run away from it. On Sunday we have another opportunity and have to step up and show more character and personality.
Thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe channel, comment and sharing our videos.